Hi, welcome to my YouTube channel Clickview Enthusiast. I'm Abhishek, a Clickview learner, and in this video, I will talk about the use of agar function in the dimension tab or as a dimension. So, in my first video, I talked about the use of agar function in expression, and that's where we created this table where we figured out the maximum order by the employee name and the customer name and then after figuring out this maximum order value we got the uh, respective customer name to which this this order was sold by the this employee so if you have not seen uh, my last video where we created this i will encourage you that you go there and see that video that will help you explain the aggregate function from the scratch and couple of things that i have talked about the aggregate function so let's, let's move on to uh, this uh, the topic in this video where we want to use the agar function in the dimension tab as a calculated dimension so for this let's let's see uh, the scenario and uh, the scenario that i have thought about is the value uh, selling so what we meant by value selling is that each employee is involved into selling the orders to these customer and we want to know uh, by each employee where the order count is less and the total order value is high so we want to compare each employee this this information of each employee on the bar graph and see which employee is involved into the value selling so let's create a chart and then probably you will get a much better uh, picture about uh, this scenario so let's right click here go to new sheet object uh, we'll click on the chart and uh, here is our bar chart we'll click next and um, um, we will click on the add calculated dimension we will not select any dimension from here we will click the add calculated dimension and uh, we will first enter the agar function aggregate our values and the brackets these parentheses and we've we are saying that we want to get a count of order id we want to get the count of order id by this comma is basically you can say by this these employees so employee id so in sql form if i have to say give group by these order ids by this employee id we'll click ok and let's give a name as uh, order count and we will click next and here also we will say agar aggregate parenthesis sum order total that's what the order value so total order value by employee that's simple and we will say it order value finish all right so here you see we got this chart so now we can uh, if we study this chart you know we we can really see that this portion where the order count is 8 and its value is comparatively very less when you compare it to the this uh, this order value where the count is 10 so if we want to know uh, who is involved here we will click on this and uh, we get this information about the employee the Maria so this is just that uh, this table box is present so we are uh, kind of uh, uh, getting this information otherwise we can have a list box also where the employee information is there to get such information or we can make other arrangements but for now you know if we have we have the information here and we we know that the maria is basically involved into less value selling so the she is doing a lot of hard work 
into you know going to different customer you know doing a lot of orders but the value of orders are less but for this bar you know the count is 10 but you see it, the bar is high it means you know it this person who is doing this uh, you know selling is involved into the value selling you can easily predict that so you click here and you see that any is basically involved into the value selling it's, it's doing a lot of uh, you know value selling or high-end uh, uh, orders and that's why the bar is quite high so so this is uh, is basically a dummy example or or a kind of uh, you know a scenario i have tried to create with the help of this data this value selling but there can be many many other scenarios which actually comes to us and at that time you know we are really confused what we really need to do and probably the answer is the aggregate function but it's just that we are not sometimes aware whether uh, what aggregate function is and that's why we cannot use it or sometimes we are not uh, you know uh, we are not able to translate the business requirement into the technical terms of the click view where we can use such functions to get these complex chart so so this is uh, the example or this is the scenario I basically uh, wanted to explain the use of calculated dimension uh, the dimension that we have created to get the order count by each employee and then their respective well um, you know uh, the order value uh, to show the value selling scenario so i hope uh, you find this video useful uh, to create a calculated dimension and use of basically use of uh, aggregate function in the calculated dimension and uh, uh, understand uh, this business scenario which i have tried with the help of this data so this is pretty much all I wanted to discuss in this video about the calculated dimension by using aggregate function and uh, I will meet you in the next video with a new topic about the aggregate function. Till then, bye bye.